I think it's important for people to make mistakes because you never know where their mistakes will lead to. The mistake that I made has the opportunity to change the fashion world. My name is Gary Cass. I call myself a creative scientist. Myself and my team came up with fermented fashion. Fermented fashion is the bacterial fermentation of red wine, white wine, and other beverages to make garments. So at university, I studied a Bachelor of Science where I majored in horticulture and specifically growing grapes or viticulture. In the winery, we try and avoid contamination by keep everything under anaerobic conditions. We, we lower the oxygen down by using carbon dioxide. Well, we made a mistake one weekend and we forgot to add the carbon dioxide gas to the vat. Oxygen got in, but at the same time, this bacteria called Acetobacter got in and converted all of the wine into vinegar. Disaster, yes, back then it was for sure. Huge mistake. But what we also noticed that there was a material that had formed on the top of this vat. After discovering this new material and with further reading and research, found out that it was just cellulose cotton line fibre. I wanted to see if it would fit into the fashion world, so I teamed up with textile fashion designer Donna Franklin. What we really wanted to do was see what this fabric could do as a, as a garment to start with and as an art project. With the first garments we made, there are quite a number of issues. It was fragile, it was only flexible when it was wet. Over time, we thought about different ways of changing the processes, and that kind of led to the more recent pieces, the, the champagne dress and the beer dress. Once we started to exhibit fermented fashion around the world, we started to also discover some of the environmental impacts that was happening with present day fibre production. If we look at the cotton industry, for instance, it takes eight to 10,000 litres of fresh water to produce one pair of denim jeans. The Murray-Darling River system in Australia is now under threat because of agriculture and predominantly irrigation of cotton. Australia is one of the driest continents in the world, so we really need to come up with an alternative, sustainable solution for this fibre production and we believe that it's fermented fashion. I've been fortunate enough to have a very successful 30 years in this industry in fashion and textiles, but I wanted to change a gear and become more of an ambassador of change and industry betterment, and, and where hope and dream is to be the go-to fiber company that could positively replace the current norm. Ultimately, we don't want to cut down any forests. We don't want to use as much water. So my hope for Nanolos is it will be successful in making fermented fashion a commercially viable, environmentally sustainable alternative to present day fibre. Many years ago, I made a mistake. But some will say that you truly can't be creative unless you are willing to make mistakes. And it's these people that are willing to take the risk that will be the creative people, the innovators and inventors that we need for the future of Australia.